Once again, we're celebrating 100 of the world's most inspiring projects demonstrating the power of tech for good. Our fourth year of research has uncovered almost 700 social tech innovations from across the globe, from which our amazing judging partners have selected the 2016 NT100. Our NT100 projects are using digital technologies to tackle a wide range of significant social challenges. One cluster of projects is helping us to understand the plight of others. After Ebola gives a voice to those affected by last year's Ebola outbreak. After Ebola was driven by a network of community reporters that we trained across the country, mostly from the very rural areas and the border towns which were worst affected by Ebola. Using very simple offline mobile phones, they were able to share real-time insight from their communities and connect to a dashboard that we developed that was an editorial space. I think it's really exciting that a project like After Ebola has been recognised in the 2016 NT100 because it's about low-tech communities and connecting those communities with some of the most digitally aware audiences in the world. Project Syria uses virtual reality to help news audiences understand the horrific experiences of ordinary people caught up in the conflict. We've also seen how tech can help share personal perspectives on historic events. The Forever Project is a 3D interactive programme that will preserve the voices of Holocaust survivors for generations to come. Europeana is making Europe's art and cultural heritage accessible to all. In the future, we hope that everyone has the access that they need to the shared cultural heritage that belongs to all of us. To be included in the 2016 NT100 list is a great recognition of all of the people and organisations who work with and for Europeana every day to make culture freely and openly accessible for everyone. This year, we've also seen how technology is helping to create a more inclusive society. From Harry Marta, using educational games on tablets to detect early signs of autism in children, to A-Poly, a smartphone app, helping the visually impaired with navigation and object recognition. Technology developed by Open Up Music enables young disabled musicians to experience the joy of performing as part of the Southwest Open Youth Orchestra. Disrupt Disability is using technology to change lives with the world's first open source wheelchair designs. Worldwide, 65 million people need a wheelchair, yet with traditional design, manufacture and distribution, this comes at a prohibitive price. We're at the vanguard of a disability revolution. With new technologies like sensors, digital fabrication, robotics, AR, VR, we finally have the opportunity to disrupt disability. Eva Park is helping people with aphasia recover communication skills. Eva Park is a multi-user online virtual world for people with aphasia. They log on to the world from home and they receive one-to-one -one speech and language therapy with a speech and language therapist. The person can log on at any time they like to continue practicing. We've again seen how technology is helping to extend the reach of equitable healthcare around the globe. India has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the world. Kushi Baby is combining tradition with technology to create an inexpensive digital necklace, making medical history wearable. Virtual Doctors provides health centres in Zambia with a smartphone preloaded with telemedicine software, connecting local health workers with medical experts in the UK. The true genesis of the charity was my experience many years ago in a very remote area of Zambia. I picked up a, a heavily pregnant young woman trying to get to a, a hospital many miles away and there was no health care really available for her in her community and as we drove to the hospital she simply bled to death in the back of my Land Rover and I questioned then what could I do not being a doctor to help. In Mexico there is an acute lack of blood donations. Two brothers decided to do something about this and created Blooders, an app that connects blood donors and recipients. Sightsaver's mapping project is using smartphones to collect and transmit data from 2.6 million people in 28 countries to tackle trachoma, a bacterial infection responsible for 3% of the world's blindness. Our 2016 NT100 projects are inspiring examples of how people across the globe are embracing digital technology to address society's most pressing challenges. Explore them all at socialtech.org.uk.